Can't overwhelm. Sussex collapsed after failing to inject venom into public opinion to drown Charles. Hello, friends. Welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. Recently, some members of the public have been very negative about the punishment that Charles has decided to inflict on his treasonous son, Harry. So a question that has attracted millions of comments from the audience is, was King Charles' decision to evict Harry and Meghan from their UK home unnecessary and cruel? Well, in my opinion, absolutely not. This decision from the king was neither cruel nor unnecessary. In fact, it was a great solution to a troublesome and traitorous son who has contributed nothing positive but a lot negative to the monarchy ever since he married Meghan Markle. And at the end of the day, it was really just a business transaction. Now, the cottage is bigger than most houses in England, and it was given to them for them to use while they lived in the UK and participated in royal duties. But they're not living in the UK any longer, and they're not participating in royal duties. So basically, the cottage has just been sitting there empty for two years, and everybody knows how empty properties tend to deteriorate. And in the royal stage, there's also an urgent need for accommodation. The renovation of Buckingham Palace means the staff who were living there need to be living somewhere else now. By moving one of the senior royals into the cottage, other accommodations can be made available, and an unused cottage finally comes back into use. From a business perspective, it makes good sense. Charles does not have to put staff into short-term accommodation, which would have cost a lot of money. And the cottage is used, so it's not likely to deteriorate thanks to non-occupation. So first thing that people need to understand is that nobody was really evicted. Prince Harry was just leasing that property from the Crown Estate, which is the real owner. Harry was leasing the property at fair market value. So he was spending a few thousand dollars a month maintaining an empty home. Prince Harry either decided to end the lease so that he could save money, or it could be that the Crown Estate declined to renew the lease so the property could finally be leased to somebody else who really wanted to live there. Now, I don't think that King Charles told the two of them they needed to get out, but I do assume they were told they couldn't renew the lease, which boils down to the same thing. Obviously, this is a signal to Meghan and Harry that they are not welcome there any longer. And that's really the only thing the king needed to imply. There's no room for the evil pair at this particular inn. And the thing I love most about all of this is that it is totally bloodless. There's no dialogue, no vitriol, just a simple announcement that the two of them are being evicted from Frogmore Cottage. There's really no way for Meghan and Harry to fight back against this decision. It's already done and clearly they lost. So they can say anything they want to about the king and the rest of the family too, but there's going to be no way back into the confines of the monarchy for the two of them. From this decision, it also seems likely that there's going to be no invitation to the coronation for the gruesome twosome. I mean, all their demands, it looks like, have fallen on deaf ears. It looks like the royal family is finally done with them, although I'm guessing they're going to continue to bother them for quite a long time, and it could even be that eventually Harry comes slinking back. And this could be because Meghan Markle finally decides there's some richer man waiting for her. I also wouldn't be a bit surprised if eventually Harry gets kicked out of the U.S. because he's overstayed his welcome, or maybe he didn't pay taxes, or perhaps because he finally reaches rock bottom and there is nowhere else to turn. But I don't think he and Meghan are going to be living in wedded bliss forever. And as a little footnote, I think it's important to add that this is almost surely going to mean that Harry is no longer eligible to be a counselor of state because the rules are specific. The rules say, counselors of state are always the monarch's spouse and the next four people in the line of succession who meet the following specifications. They must be British subjects of full age, 21 years or 18 years for the heir apparent or presumptive, who are domiciled in the United Kingdom and not disqualified from becoming monarch. An insider decided to comment on the decisive action of King Charles, saying, Evicted is a bit inflammatory, I think. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had a yearly lease on Frogmore Cottage, renewable in March, going by them renewing it last year about this time. However, this year there is a new monarch, and he's long expressed an interest in economizing. 
Additionally, Britain is facing economic issues and austerity measures. Prince Andrew has already had several cutbacks, including losing enough income to make Royal Lodge too expensive and thus needs another property. Given this, in January, two months before the lease renewal, the Sussexes were informed Frogmore Cottage's lease wouldn't be renewed. It makes sense since they rarely used it and it would be more useful elsewhere. I'm sure they are disappointed, but that's not a good reason to misrepresent the situation. The decision was good business, neither cruel nor unnecessary. More than that, Charles has taken a lot of stick about putting his foot down, taking revenge on his son by not being decisive, not having the balls, etc. Now that he has made a decision not to leave a large house empty for nearly two years, then he's in the wrong. This poor man can't do right for wrong. Positive or negative, he and his advisors have done just that. Charles is not cruel. He never has been. Taking revenge for anything is not in his personality, and he has taken a lot of bad-mouthing over the years. Harry cannot expect to behave as he has without any empathy for his victims. We are all responsible for our actions, and princes of the realm are not exempt. On the other hand, whether or not Andrew will accept Frogmore is a different matter. He is an arrogant man who thinks that he deserves to remain in a 30-room mansion. This will be interesting to watch how it turns out. Of course, there's always an apartment in Kensington for him, although it does not have any staff, though, as Megan got rid of them all. And another commenter said, I cannot make a value judgment on King Charles' decision to evict Harry from the UK, as this is a hypothetical scenario that has not occurred in real life. King Charles has not ascended to the throne as of my knowledge is cutoff date of September 2021, and the situation you are describing is purely fictional. However, in general, decisions that are deemed cruel and unnecessary by a significant portion of society may face criticism and backlash from the public. It is important for leaders to consider the potential impact of their decisions on the well-being of those affected, and to strive to make decisions that are fair and just. I'm not sure hyperbole like cruel and unnecessary is helpful. The monarchy, quite rightly, must keep a rein on how public money is spent maintaining royal residences. Megan and Harry have a home in California, which is where their children are growing up, are financially independent, and are not working royals. To maintain a large house on the Windsor Estate purely for them to use once a year, if that, if they happen to visit the UK, is clearly ludicrous. There is plenty of room for them to be accommodated as guests at other royal residences if necessary. What do you think about the negative accusations made by a section of the public about Charles after publicly expelling Harry and Meghan? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.